Niagara Falls is one of the largest and most famous waterfalls in the world. A lot of people believe that Niagara Falls is a Canadian landmark, but not everyone knows that it is possible to visit these waterfalls from the United States side because it is located exactly on the border between Canada and USA. In this video, we will tell you about the Niagara Falls, how to get there and about the top 10 the most interesting facts that you probably didn't know. So here we go! The distance from New York to the Niagara Falls is about 410 miles which is 660 kilometers or about 8 hours drive. It is possible to take a group bus tour from New York or to go by car. The road on the way to the waterfalls is very picturesque, mountainous and beautiful, with rivers aside. There are the Catskill Mountains, part of the famous Appalachian Mountain system, along the way. The distance from New York to the mountains is approximately 100 miles or 160 kilometers. Special stops are equipped along the way, where the travelers can take a rest and enjoy amazing views. As it turned out, the citizens of New York State like this area very much. This is a great place to relax from the daily rush in such a grandiose city like New York. It seems like time stopped here. We decided to go to the Niagara Falls by car. We left New York on Friday at about 5 pm and drove up to the waterfalls as close as possible. We stopped for the overnight in Syracuse City, which is 880 miles 280 kilometers from Niagara Falls and 260 miles 418 kilometers from New York. We went to Niagara Falls in the morning to spend there as much time as possible. This beautiful place attracts a lot of tourists from all over the world which contributes to the prosperity of cities located on the banks of the waterfall Niagara Falls in New York, USA and Niagara Falls in Ontario, Canada. Almost all the territory of the city is occupied by the Niagara Falls State Park, together with the necessary infrastructure for visitors. There are multi-level parking lots, cafes, souvenir shops, hotels. As soon as you get into the park, it seems very large, so many questions come into the mind, where to go, what to do. This place deserves at least one day. It is necessary to buy the entrance ticket in order to get to the territory of Niagara Falls State Park. The ticket costs about $50. Niagara Falls is a group of three waterfalls – Horseshoe Falls, sometimes also called Canadian Falls, American Falls and Bridal Veil Falls. This waterfall group was formed on the Niagara River, which flows from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario and separates the New York State in the USA from the Canadian province of Ontario. Niagara Falls appeared about 10,000 years ago as a result of the huge ice sheet movement. The waterfall is very wide. It is the most powerful in North America and the fastest by the volume of water passing through it on the planet. View to the Canadian side Boat cruise to the waterfalls, which is called Made of the Mist, is the most exciting entertainment in the park. Boarding on the boat is preceded by the line, and the lines are very huge here, especially near the elevator, which takes the visitors to the boats at the American Falls. 
That's why it is highly recommended to start from this entertainment in order to organize the time rationally. There is an observation deck behind the elevator. This is a great place to enjoy amazing views of the Niagara Falls and evening illumination show with fireworks over the waterfalls. Tourists from the American side receive the blue raincoats. Raincoats of the Canadian tourists are red colored. Probably the color distribution was invented for border control. The visitors also receive the raincoats on the next location, Cave of the Winds. During the boat cruise we were enjoying amazing view of our own waterfall. We were trying to film everything on our camera. We wanted to save all of these incredible emotions. Drops of the water break down in all directions. Everything is just like in a fog. That's why this boat cruise is called the Maid of the Mist. Despite the fact that we were in raincoats, we got wet absolutely. Actually, we thought that our camera was waterproof, but unfortunately it couldn't stand against the power of Niagara Falls. It got wet completely and shut down. After the boat trip, we realized that our camera broke down. Of course we were sad about it. But despite all of this, the boat cruise to the waterfalls was a wonderful experience for us. Now this broken camera decorates our shelf at home, and when we look at it, we have just positive memories. It reminds us of those crazy times. This entertainment is definitely one of the highlights in Niagara Falls Park. It is possible to come very close to the American Falls along the path near the boats. There is a rainbow bridge a few hundred meters downstream of the waterfall over the Niagara River. This bridge connects two countries, USA and Canada. It is possible to reach all the locations in the park by the special train, trolley. It's a shuttle through the large territory of the park, which helps to reach the points of interest very quickly. The next location which we visited, Cave of the Winds, was situated near the Bridal Whale Falls. Tourists watch a short movie about the history of the Niagara Falls before the visit to the Cave of the Winds. The entrance to this location is organized by time, but it is possible to spend unlimited time here. So it is better to go to the Cave of the Winds right after the boat cruise made of the mist. We had been waiting for the entrance for about half an hour. We received yellow raincoats and sandals to change our shoes. Cave of the Winds has got such a name because the access to the waterfalls is through the cave tunnel and it is really windy inside. When we came out of the tunnel, we saw the walking trail, which was very close to the Bridal Vale Falls, almost at its bottom. Beautiful gulls nest near this trail. Powerful streams of waterfall drop from the height. The noise of the waterfall reduces the loudness of your thoughts. You feel your presence right here and right now and enjoy the moment. The waterfall radiates an incredible magical atmosphere and emits positive vibes. Feeling this inspiration, you understand that such a long road wasn't in vain. Visitors can get to the waterfall very close and even touch it thanks to the special walking trail.
Rumor has it that the Canadian side of the waterfalls look more impressive, but nowhere else you can feel the Niagara Falls like on the American side, exactly in the Cape of the Winds. Hurricane Deck is the epicenter, the most extreme, the closest side to the waterfall. Here you can literally touch the Niagara Falls. The Cave of the Winds is another pearl of the Niagara Falls. The weather near the waterfall is very changeable. A very strong wind began to blow in the Cave of Winds. Singles began to fuss and fly over us. When we left the cave, it started to rain heavily. A small cafe with a gift shop was nearby, so all visitors were there in a moment, including us. It was extremely overcrowded, everyone was wet, but in spite of this, in a good mood. Everyone was talking and laughing. Although the weather was nasty, we were not upset and figured out how not to waste our time. We were choosing souvenirs for our relatives. They say a rainbow appears after the rain. We were literally lucky to see it near the waterfall, even a double rainbow. Top of the Falls restaurant is located near the Bridal Veil Falls. There is a illumination show over the waterfalls, which takes place every evening after the sunset every hour for 15 minutes. Spotlights constructed on the Canadian side create a spectacular view. The light and color changes on special holidays, for example on Valentine's Day, Earth Day, Memorial Day, St. Patrick's Day, Independence Day. Fireworks are the highlight of the illumination performance. This is an incredible sight, which we will remember forever. Emotions overwhelm. There are also a research center, aquarium and numerous hiking trails on the territory of Niagara Falls State Park. Unfortunately, we didn't explore all of them, because one day wasn't enough to see everything. It is possible to visit another very famous place, Lake Ontario, on the way back from the Niagara Falls. Lake Ontario is one of the five Great Lakes and is located on the border of the United States and Canada. The Great Lakes include five lakes – Superior, Huron, Michigan, Erie and Ontario. The Great Lakes are the largest group of freshwater lakes on Earth by total area. The maximum depth of Lake Ontario is 246 meters or 810 feet. It was very interesting for us to visit the shores of this legendary lake, so we decided to go to Charlottetown, which is located on the shore of Ontario Lake, 155 kilometers or 100 miles from Niagara Falls. There is a special, peaceful vibe near the lake. We saw many cozy, beautiful houses in Charlottetown. A lot of vacationers enjoy the sound of the waves and the light breeze on the lake shore. Beautiful views from the pier.
Sometimes the water level in the lake rises and even leaves the coast due to the large amount of rainfall. Local residents have to strengthen the coast from flooding. There is another interesting city just 15 kilometers from Charlotte, it is Rochester. Honestly, we didn't plan to stop here, but we wanted to stop somewhere to have a lunch. Rochester turned out to be famous for producing Tennessee beer, and its brewery is a local attraction here. The brewery is located near the Genesee River, which flows into Lake Ontario. Water from this river is used for producing beer. The Genesee Brewery in Rochester is one of the largest and constantly operating breweries in America. The factory has been operating since 1878. There is a small museum of the Genesee beer brand. You can purchase themed souvenirs including beer here. The Genesee Brewery has a bar restaurant where we had our lunch and ordered a testing set of four beer types. The rooftop cafe of Genesee Brewery opens stunning views to the beautiful High Falls waterfall, another highlight of Rochester. A very beautiful view to the waterfall opens also from the panoramic bridge. After our visit to Rochester, we returned back to New York. So let's come up to our top 10, the most exciting facts about the Niagara Falls. Number 1. Although Niagara Falls is not the highest waterfall in the world, it is the most powerful in North America and the fastest waterfall on the planet. Number 2. Niagara Falls separates two countries, Canada and the United States. And citizens of both countries have access to the famous waterfall from their own side. Number 3. As for Canada, the Niagara Falls National Park was founded back in 1885 in Canada. It is the oldest national park in the entire Canada. Number 4. The cruise boat The Maid of the Mist had its first excursion in 1846. This tourist attraction is still actual and is the oldest entertainment in North America. Number 5. A lot of fish fall down together with the huge water flow, but according to scientists' investigations, about 90% survive after the drop. Number 6. At the Niagara Falls is a very picturesque waterfall, many well-known films were captured here. Among them, Pirates of the Caribbean, Superman 2, and The Niagara, starring Marilyn Monroe. Number 7. The construction of the first industrial hydroelectric station was started in 1853. Famous scientist Nikola Tesla took part in this significant event. It was Tesla's alternating current generators that became the heart of this hydroelectric power station at Niagara Falls. There is even a memorial complex dedicated to the life and scientific activities of the great inventor Nikola Tesla on the territory of the Niagara Falls Park. Exactly here began the mass electrification of settlements in America and further around the world. Number 8. This fact is connected with the previous one. Today, Niagara Falls is the largest electricity producer in New York State. Number 9. The first person who jumped into the Niagara Falls and survived was Sam Patch, who committed this courageous but insane act in 1829. In 1901, Annie Taylor, a 63-year-old lady at that time, became the first person to descend from the Niagara Falls in a barrel and survived. Since then, 14 other people have purposely tried to go through the waterfall. Some survived, others either drowned or were seriously injured. Survivors were fined heavily for violating Canadian and American law. In 2012, an acrobat walked 550 meters or 1,800 feet along the cable between the Canadian and American shores of Niagara Falls. In order to enable him to do this, the authorities of both countries even cancelled the law prohibiting such tricks which had been in force for 128 years. Number 10. 
Only a few cases of Niagara Falls complete freezing have been documented in 1848 and 1912. A lot of media reported that the waterfall was frozen again in 2014, but it wasn't really true. If you know another facts which we didn't mention, leave a comment. You can read more about the Niagara Falls on our website worldwithatwist.com, link in the description below. In our next video, we will tell you about the capital of the USA, Washington DC, and it's the most interesting and important sites. So if you don't want to miss it, subscribe and click on the bell button to be immediately informed about the new video on our channel. Don't forget to click the thumb button, comment, share the video if you like it, and again, subscribe to our channel if you want to get such short and informative overviews about interesting places of our planet. World Visit Twist, let's discover the world together!